In this video, we're breaking down two Killjoy setups for every map. What's going on everybody, it's your host Sergeant Frost here, bringing you two essential setups to dominate with Killjoy regardless of the map. With Lotus and Split in and Bind and Breeze out, as well as all of the Chamber nerfs, the Sentinel competition is fierce, but Killjoy still reigns supreme, at least on most maps. It's not all about fragging though, it's about setting up your utility to dominate defensive rounds. So we'll show you solid setups for each map to make your bomb sites feared by the enemy. Get ready to dominate and make your enemies tremble. Split was brought back into the competitive map pool without too many changes to its layout. This means that Killjoy's utility is still perfectly suited to delay, locate, and fry enemies trying to make progress. Starting off on the A bomb site on Split, I find many Killjoy players run into the same problem. You set up all of your utility in A main just for the enemy team to run up the ramp and split the bomb site, making it so that you need to either fight enemies coming from three different locations, or they kill the ramp player and rotate to B through vent. When I find teams are doing this, I first like to place my turret on this box in heaven where either myself or my teammate will be playing. This turret holds the top of the map and the vents push in case the enemy breaks through mid, giving your team an advantage contesting these angles. I then like to pair this with an alarm bot and nades at the entrance of A main. This defends against lurks if I'm not playing the backside, and the nade helps split the duelists from the rest of their team when they try and enter and prevent enemies from hiding in cubby. But if the enemy team isn't really taking ramp, I like to just place my turret here and peek off its contact somewhere back site, always changing my position along the way to avoid being pre-aimed by the enemy team. Over on the B bomb site, I prefer to hold up top B heaven instead of on bomb site itself. The reason for this is because I find controllers like Brimstone and Omen have more than enough utility to hold that choke by themselves. I place this turret facing outward to keep an eye on B main and mail for enemy aggression. In heaven, I like to use these two nades since they cover all of mail and they are difficult for the enemy to spot. Comboed with this alarm bot that activates as soon as an enemy takes contact with my turret. I either play behind the box or on the ledge of rafters so I'm able to take favorable informed fights. This setup is deadly and has all of Killjoy's utility working in tandem which only amplifies its effect. Moving on to Ascent, this map can be one of the most fun maps to play Killjoy on if you know what you're doing. On A, I like to place my turret high up on this box so that it can both hold A main and A door walkout. I love this turret because of how effective it is to swing off of the enemies peeking A main. There are multiple positions I can play from so it's extremely hard for the enemy team to guess where I will fight them from. After taking the fight A main, it's really hard to try to leave the bomb site as a defender. This is why I like to place my alarm bot and nades on switch. That way I can fight A main, retreat back sight, and try to pick off one or two more enemies who are trying to make a mad dash for the door. If I can find 2-3 kills before going down, I'm extremely happy with this. With this A setup, you're committed to fighting until you are eventually eliminated, so make sure you make the most out of your life. A lot of Killjoy players love to set up to take the fight switch while they either sit stairs or CT. Setups that play for this can work in some situations, but I personally love setting up for back sight if possible. Starting off with this microwave setup on lane or speedway, it's important that you place the alarm bot far down the lane since your first nade is placed inside of the boathouse. When the alarm bot is triggered, hit your front nade first followed by the second placed closer to the bot. The sequence of events forces the enemy to walk out into the site where you have your turret placed on top of this box to take first contact with lane or stairs. And much like A site, playing back B gives you so much more room to be dynamic and weave in and out of fights keeping you alive longer than if you were just fighting stairs and you got mollied off then need to fight backside with your utility. And before we get to talking about Lotus, I quickly want to tell you about our website ProGuides.com. If you're looking for the fastest way to improve, that being through coaching, exclusive guides, and pro boot camps, we've got you covered. For just $8 a month, you can get access to everything and you'll be able to improve and rank up in no time. Check it out today. Lotus is one of the biggest and newest maps in Valorant, so learning how to cover all that ground can be challenging. Our first setup is for B and A site holding. I first place my turret in this corner of B site. Here it holds B main, B door, and broken door room for if the enemy tries to go A to B fast. Then after this turret, I like to break this door at the start of the round and slide my alarm bot here. This makes it so my teammates have an easier time watching and fighting A main. This way, two of the three entrances to the defender side of the map are under my watch. You could also place nades here and here to help delay pushes and split the enemy if they are trying to advance on your position. And on C site, I love this turret so I can take this fight on the players walking up and around the mound. The ramp back site makes it so that you can change your elevation and in turn are harder to pre-aim and hit. I combine this with my alarm bot here coupled with some nades tucked around these corners to prevent them from being broken. C site is probably the strongest site on Lotus for Killjoy because of all the angles you can control the fight around and because of how close quarters it is. Haven is a weird map for Killjoy since there aren't too many places for her to be positioned to fight off her utility, so you either want to catch your enemy off guard or have your nades sectioning off the attacker's wall enough for you to isolate good gunfights. 
on A. I love using this turret on some rounds to get the jump on unsuspecting enemies trying to clear short using utility like Fade Dogs or Raise Boom Bots. Since they assume this area of the map is clear, they most of the time confidently swing my turret, and when they try to break it, I easily trade it for a kill. In order to keep myself safe, I cover the ramp with nades and my alarm bot to buy me time to rotate to back site or rotate into CT before they can pinch me while fighting the short players. Seaside is a bit interesting since there is so much open space. Killjoy doesn't really love open space as much as the other Sentinels, but this setup I feel helps make fights way easier for her. This turret placed in garage connector is awesome for not only holding C, but your teammates holding the garage. They can use its contact as a cue to flash, stun, or peek the enemy. While the turret helps slow and distract enemies who are trying to run through your nades and alarm bot, set up here, here, and here. You need to make sure after you hit your nades you're looking to take aggressive fights. Killjoy players who use this setup will get easily overrun if you don't thin out the enemies your utility is disrupting. In the past, Chamber used to be the all-star sentinel on Icebox, but after his nerfs, Killjoy is starting to become the go-to for this map. A site is for sure my favorite site to play Killjoy with because of how many different locations you can place her turret and get value. For this setup, I chose to place it on top of screens holding the cross onto site. If the enemy team has a viper, make sure your turret is oriented in front of her wall. I love this turret because no matter where you're playing from on back site, you can always get the jump on the enemy. And it is also a great counter to agents like Raze and Jet who like to move fast through the air. I then think placing your alarm bot to disrupt and stop the bomb from going down is huge on Icebox. This can buy critical time for your team to rotate and help you since A is one of the hardest sites in the game to hold as a defender. On B site, I think it's a bit better to play more passive and try and deny the bomb plant rather than play up and fight yellow or B main. This turret placement is great since it watches B main, yellow, and under tube slash mid for your team. Look to play and peek off this turret when possible and relocate after you're spotted. This nade alarm bot combo is fantastic for stalling or straight up stopping the bomb from going down. Fracture is where Killjoy can have some of the most impact in the game. Her ultimate is so insane for playing retake or side take on both sides. So let's see how you can farm the enemy for orbs with her setups. Over on the A site, I like setting up this turret on top of the A site platform pressed all the way against the wall. This turret holds A main, the drop walkout, and sand at the same time. When I have this turret down, I like to play off site and take advantage of the information it provides me. After the barrier drops, you can place either your alarm bot deep dish to hold for a push, or in my example, leave it under the dish drop. This way, if an enemy drops down from dish, the alarm bot catches them in the back. Pair this with a nano swarm and the turret slow when they try to run out and you have the perfect trap setup for the player's drop. I really enjoy using this crossfire setup with my turret on the B site. It's super inconvenient for the enemy team to break this turret jumping into the site since they have so many angles to worry about. Most of the time you can catch enemies turned around trying to break it. Match this with an alarm bot arcade to keep you informed about your flank in this case. And even if an enemy is able to sneak into tower, your turret still holds the tower entrances as a second early warning system for you. I also love to have nades set up on the ramp leading to the site so the enemy team is forced to make the decision to walk into you or give up on the push forward. The last map we need to cover for today is of course Pearl. Pearl is one of the most unique designs in the entire game since it's both long and short range. Because of this, I find Killjoy is more viable on A but B works fine as well. This turret placed at the top of the ramp outside of Art is amazing for defending not only the bomb site but Art as well. Your teammates playing Art will have some utility to aid them while it also sits at an interesting off angle the enemy will not expect. I combo this with nades and an alarm bot to cover the left side of the site. I find taking away this space from the enemy creates a lot of confusion on their end and makes taking them out so much easier. Be careful playing in the dugout though since you can be spammed through the wall if you play there consistently. On B site, it's all about forming a crossfire with your turret to find success. Because the bomb side is so open, trying to swing off of it will most likely end up with you fighting a 1v4. Because of this, I like to form a cross with my turret while using my nades to limit the space the attackers get to move forward. If you're able to time your nades with the other duelist entry, then you're golden, since it will be easy to pick them off if they don't have their team's aid. We hope this video was helpful and gave you some new perspective into how Killjoy can be played on every map. Remember, there is no perfect setup, and just because one isn't in this video doesn't mean it couldn't possibly work. The more you understand how to combine her utility and change it to perfectly match the situation at hand, that's when you finally master the agent. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, make sure to leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. This has been your host Sergeant Frost and I'll see you all again in the next one.